everyone, I'm Rachel Gregg and I'm here at Creativation in Phoenix, America. And right now I just want to show you a quick demo using two of our new stem sets. It's the Bottles stem set and the Tall Flowers and how you can use them together. So I'll just start off with the Bottles. The Bottles has got lots of different size bottles in this stem set. So you've got some smaller ones which is great for smaller projects or then you've got some tall ones which are great for tags or art journals. Um, I'm just going to use this little bell uh, bottle up here though and just show you how you can use it with some flower stamps. So just place it on the acrylic block there. I'm just going to ink it up here using the archival jet black ink. And I'm just stamping here onto just some specialty stamping paper. It's a nice smooth cardstock and that'll just retain all of that detail there in that bottle so you can see the nice little details there in that stamp. So I'll just put that back into its case and see we use our storage cases to store all of our stamps in. Makes it nice and easy so you don't lose any of the stamps. And so next up I'm just going to use the tall flowers stamps and I'm just going to choose one of the flowers out of here to put inside the bottle. Okay so for this one here just depending on how you want your or how tall your cardstock is this one here the stem we've got long stems on these flowers so if the stems a bit too long for your bottle all you need to use is a post-it note so I'm just going to mask just a little bit off there on the bottle so therefore the stem will only go down um, halfway down throughout the bottle so I'm just going to ink up which I'll start with the sunflower ink I'm just using some Wendy Vecchi make art ink pads I'm just going to ink up those stems, or sorry, the petals, just using the sunflower ink. And then I'll ink up the stem here using the fern green. I'm just going to stamp that directly now. Obviously, when I'm stamping, I want the stem to go through that, uh, the lip of the bottle there, so it looks like that these flowers are coming out of the neck of the bottle. Okay, so there's my first, first one. I'm just going to change the colours of the petals here, so I'm just wiping that off there. Next, I'm just going to go to an orange. Inking that one up. That's using the poppy colour ink pad. See there? And then now again, just doing the stem here with that fern green. Go a little bit off to the side there. And then wipe that again. And then the last one I'm going to use is the red geranium. Inking that up. And then I'll just ink up the stem here with the fern green. Now for this one I'm just going to bend the stem because we've got such a large stem it's really easy to bend if you want your flower to be a little bit bent so in this way I want it to be a little bit bent this way so I'm just going to bend that and it just goes onto that acrylic block easily I'm just going to ink that up again just in case my fingers went onto the stamp there and for this one I just want it to be bent a little bit out of that bottle stamp that there so you can see there that I've got I've stamped my three flowers coming out the neck of the bottle and then it's masked off those the bottoms of those stems and once I take off that post-it note those little stems there are just floating there nicely in the bottle like a little vase so now I want to just add some water down to the bottom of that bottle so I'm just going to use the watering can uh, Wendy Vecchi inks, the Make Art ink pad. So I'm just going to swipe a little bit onto my non-stick craft sheet and just using a water brush here I'm just going to pick up some of this ink and then just from the bottom here just lightly colour in just a little bit of water 
through here just keep picking up some ink and this is just a really nice subtle color and if you wanted to make it look like the stems are really you know dissolving inside that water you can just blend out a little bit of that green stem ink color as well just slightly doing that that just gives it a really nice watercolory look makes it look like they're all floating inside that water and there we go so now this image once that's dry that's ready to make into a card and that's a nice really simple way to use the bottles and the tall flower stamp sets and you can mix and match all your flowers and all your bottles to create any card or project that you like thanks so much for watching